So just like always, here is the finished node setup. Everything in purple is, is things we've done in previous videos, and everything else is things we're going to do. And it's just a review of all the previous concepts that we looked at. We have our drawing layer, we have our deformation layer, we have our individual line art and underlay art, we have a composite and a cutter, nothing too crazy. And the effect is our eyebrow cuts our eye like this. So let's start from scratch and we can break these steps down. So just like before, let's create a drawing layer, we'll add a peg and we will draw our eyebrow on our line art layer. So control R, we'll do eyebrow, plug it in, add a peg, control P, and now we will draw our eyebrow on our line art layer, just like this. And we can just drag up the side so it looks more eyebrow-ish. Perfect. Now we can add our deformation chain. So we click our hammer tool, click our envelope deformer, we click a corner, hold and drag, just like this, click the other corner, hold and drag, right to the middle. So now we can move this little guy around, but if you notice, he doesn't cut the eyebrow just yet. To get that effect that we saw at the beginning, this is where we need to use our underlay layers and our cutters. So let's go to the drawing layer, or the drawing view. I'll copy my eyebrow to my underlay layer, my U layer, and then we can get an invisible stroke and just draw like a nice big circle, just like that. And we can fill in this circle with blue. It doesn't really matter what color because we won't see it. So now let's take our eyebrow, delete it. So we just have a nice blue blob. If we go back to our camera view, we have a weird eyebrow. Like it cuts the eye, but it's just covering it, right? And we want to get rid of this blue thing. So what we want is, again, we want the eyebrow to cut off the eye. And remember in our last video, where we used a composite to make our cutter affect three different nodes at one time. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna affect everything in purple this time. So let's copy our composite and plug everything into it, just like this. Well, everything except our eyebrows. Let's copy our cutter, because why not? And we'll put it underneath our composite, Alt. So now it's gonna be affecting everything in purple. Now let's grab our underlay layer and our line art layer. And the process is gonna be the same. We're gonna plug in our line art, because we want our line art to be in front. And we're gonna treat our underlay layer as our color art. And we're gonna plug it in here. Oops, see, it disappeared. That's just because we need to invert our selection. So it's inverted. We'll get rid of this line. And now when we move it down, it cuts everything. So you might not wanna include the handle so we can still see it. There we go. And there you go. Now you can get some very nice expressions with your eyes. I guess the next steps would be to add a peg on top, plug everything in, just so when you move the eye, everything moves with it. And you need to adjust the pivot points, but we can get to that in another video. I'll link to the documentation in the description. 